Evening, everyone. What a brilliant, brilliant turnout and uh, pretty decent food as well, wasn't it? I mean, uh, I'll definitely be coming back for a bit of cheese. Uh, so there we go. So um, do you know what? It's a brilliant, uh, as a, a, a really good turnout, but um, a, a really interesting subject as well, which I'm sure many of you um, will know and love. Um, and it seems it seems quite strange actually, because which hat I'm wearing today. So as has just been said, so my day job, I'm a group delivery director for EMIS. Many people may know that organisation, small little organisation that has most of the GPs in the country. That's something like that. And uh, <laughs> um, I'm also, and, and, and one of the conversations earlier really struck home, um, I'm also a non-exec director, so on the board for Leeds and York Mental Health Trust. Um, so when we talk about um, health inequalities and sharing data, um, that again strikes a chord. But tonight, I'm here uh, to talk about uh, Leeds Community Foundation. And uh, uh, they've chosen me, and it's an absolute pleasure and privilege uh, to be the chair of that organisation. Um, so I wanted to just talk about Leeds Community Foundation. They are very well supported by organisations like BJSS and others in this room, um, and are also uh, the charity partner for Leeds Digital Health and Leeds Digital Foundation. So if you haven't heard of us before, you'll hear of us now, and you'll hear what I'm going to talk about, what we do, um, and why it's really important. So Leeds Community Foundation, um, who are we? Um, we are um, the largest charitable funder in the region. So we're, we're actually a, 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 a grant giver and we support a lot of the smaller community organisations that are helping those individuals that we talked about earlier, um, those that are in the most challenging and difficult uh, times. So what we do is we raise money and we support local community organisations. So not the big charities that everybody knows and loves, you know, and you know, keep giving to them, of course. Um, but, you know, it's the real ones that are, that are making a difference uh, to individuals and, in the, and making a difference to individual lives. So that's what we do. That's our big, um, our motto is, oops, I'm not clicking the right thing, is about a fairer leads for everyone. And we also talk about, you know, as was discussed earlier, we talk about um, health inequalities, and, you know, we talk about data that was talked about then, and you look at the, 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 the health outcomes for individuals living in certain areas of the country, of, of the city, um, the least affluent, the ones with the most challenges. Not only do they have uh, health issues and actually being able to share and move data around is really important, but it also makes a difference to their lives. So those individuals that start um, in the poorest uh, environments, they have a shorter life expectancy, they have worse health outcomes, and their lives are, is, is pretty much stays in, in that state. So you'll hear lots of people talk about your life and often your life is defined at seven years old. Depending on where you are at that point is the rest of your life. And we're trying to make some changes uh, to do so. So yeah, as I said, we're an independent grant maker. We collaborate with the community. We collaborate with a lot of organizations. Um, including the council, the health uh, uh, sector as well. And we're a leader in, in, in working uh, with those organisations and helping those small uh, community organisations uh, to be able to deliver um, to a, a fairer city for everyone. And as I said, how we work is we work with those, those um, individual community organisations because they really know what is, what, what's out there and the difference to make. You know, it's not about just handing a bit of cash to, um, you know, to help someone buy a, a, a meal for today. And it's what, that's really important, actually, because one of the things that people will say when charitable giving, it's not about feeding someone today, but it's actually creating a sustainable change. So you're better off teaching someone how to cook than give them a meal just for one day. And this, this for me, is just a really simple statement. Um, and, and it's really important around the city of Leeds, my hometown, so I'm obviously clearly proud of it. Um, but when, organize, when community organisations thrive, local people thrive, which benefits the city and benefits us in the tech sector as well. We've raised a few, a few quid over the years, as you can see. Um, 66 million in, a, in grants that we've, we've given out since 2005, supporting a whole host of community organisations, and we've just got to keep building on that. The actual demand and the need is getting greater, not lesser, right now. Um, and you, some of the funds that we give out, we obviously have organisations applying, um, and we can only give to a small section of those that are really in need, and we want to try and support as many as we can.
which is why I'm here to ask you um, to support us and to help us along the way. Little quote there, you can all read. Um, so my big ask, I've got the begging bubble actually, and I want you to all support Leeds now and in the future and do that by supporting us um, at Leeds Community Foundation. So there's a number of ways that you can support us. There's obviously the QR code, which takes you to um, our fundraising and you can just give you know, a donation. We have a, also a really good program called our membership. And as it says, it's a thousand pounds a year, um, 83 quid a month. Think about it that much. How did I do it? Is it 83 quid? Split that into a weekly, is that, uh, yeah. It's about a coffee a day, isn't it, at the moment? So think, think um, the difference you can make. And not only being part of the membership and obviously giving uh, to the organisation, but you also become part of the community and part of our organisation where you can go and see uh, and be part of some of the uh, events that we, we also hold in order to raise funds. You can, of course, uh, donate and the money will go into the Leeds Fund and that allows us to, to support unrestricted. We also have restricted funds, so individuals that are quite affluent will say, I want to give you some money, but it has to go on X or Y. So the Leeds Fund is an unrestricted fund um, and one that we're trying to continue to build. There's another way. Tomorrow is the last day for buying tickets for the Leeds Digital Ball. Uh, the Leeds Digital Ball takes place on the 9th of May at the Armouries and all the proceeds go to, um, to Leeds Community Foundation. Over the last two years, we've now raised £160,000 through the ball. So if you want to put your glad rags on uh, and look pretty for a night, um, uh, that's the place to be. Um, and if you want tickets, get onto, um, onto uh, the Leeds Digital Ball um, uh, website and get your tickets bought. And we're really welcoming individual tickets. So there's currently just over 500 people going, so you really don't want to miss out. It's a proper FOMO event. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so that's really what I wanted to share. I also wanted to talk about, so just really, really quickly before I finish, um, and give you some real life information. So I talked about the digital ball. What that is raising money for is digital inclusion. Um, so we are trying to support individuals. You know, we talk about access to life now. You know, you can't actually get on a bus um, without having a smartphone and being connected digitally. So what we're trying to do through the Leeds... Uh, digital Inclusion Fund is raise money to give to community organisations to support those individuals that a smartphone, the internet is not second nature and makes an absolute difference to their life and their access to their life. Um, and you think about what the great things that's going on in health at the moment around the NHS app and all the rest of it. Imagine if technology is not your, not your thing and you are then excluded from even getting access to health. So that's one of the things that we're trying to do. We do lots of things. One of the ones I wanted to mention, because I think for me this one is frightening in such an affluent and, and successful city of Leeds, and it's the amount of individuals and the amount of children that outside of, when, they, when they're on school holidays, don't actually get a meal, because what they rely on is the free school meal that takes place uh, every day. So we are part of a major programme and an ongoing and sadly growing needing programme called Healthy Holidays. And it's literally about giving people food when they're on school holidays because that's the only meal that they will get. So just those little things that we're doing and making, hoping to make a huge difference to people's lives, a huge difference to their existence and for them to be part of this thriving and amazing city that we all know and love. Um, but it's quite sad that so many individuals will never even get the opportunity um, and will be limited to their own access uh, to health services, um, to libraries, to education, and, and worse still, because of uh, the path it sets you on to life, to life choices. So I just wanted to say thanks for having me and um, get your wallet out. <laughs> thanks, guys.